Hey guys, this is Desiree with Monsterpiece Kennel. Well, we're blowing away the competition. Hey, I didn't mean to scare you guys or anything. Just wanted to start off with a little humor on this part three of our uh, North American Mastiff history as we know it. Okay, so it all started with all the dramas. The last video I'm going to make about it. Sorry to draw this out. It all started with, uh, we're going to call her a horseshoer and a, her cheerleader. All right, so... They have started all this drama due to they purchased some bad dogs, okay? So when they purchased these bad dogs, there's a kennel named Coops. I thought he was an ethical breeder. Sometimes you're, you know, you're not a very good judge of character. I mean, I should have, you know, went through it a little bit more with him. You know, I thought he, he was a good person. So I sold him four dogs. And with those four dogs, I told him who he could pair to who and keep offering from who and breed back to whomever. So he did a couple of litters. His first litter was actually Candy's, Candy's litter. And well, it was, I think it was the second litter. Was he, one of his litters was Candy's litter. And he did it correctly. So when I say did it correctly, and I actually co-owned Caldonia with him. So... I sold Caldonia. Uh, I sold Caldonia to him at a discounted price because he bought four other dogs. I said, you know, you you could buy her for X amount of dollars, and her first litter, when she has it, I get pick a litter puppy back, and that's what co-owning is. If anybody doesn't know what co-owning is, a lot of breeders do it. Sometimes your friends or family that can't afford a dog, you co-own a dog with them. You write a contract up, and then they give you half the litter, pick a litter, whatever you want, etc. Okay, so kind of explain the board. All my dogs are in black. It says MP Monster Piece. And all the outcrosses are in green. And I highlight Apache in red. So you guys can see how many, you know, are Apache. So when I first started uh, health testing my dogs, that's when I found out Caldonia was a DM carrier. And, uh, it, you have to have two genes of DM in order to actually have DM or, you know, be a DM affected. So having one gene of DM, it really isn't a big deal as long as Russ did not. So, okay, get back to what Coops was doing. So Coops, second or third litter, I don't know, I didn't count them, but uh, he did it correctly. He bred Caldonia to Russ. All right. So uh, then they had their litter. And this horseshoer purchased a dog from him, and that was Candy. Okay, so let's get back into the, you know, the, the tale of what was going on. So this individual, she actually was, became good friends with Coops, and she was purchasing his puppies, and she was reselling them for him. She was help broadcasting them. He would take pictures. She would put them on Facebook. He wasn't very tech savvy, as you could say. You know, and she was just selling the puppies for him. So whenever, uh, you know, S hit the fan, as they should say, she would say, hey, they're his puppies. You know, although she was the middle person selling the dogs, basically she was brokering dogs, as she would say. So... I don't know if this was common knowledge with her or what was going on. He actually did another breeding, which I sold him another dog, which was Monsterpiece Reese. So I sold him Monsterpiece Reese, Monsterpiece Russ, Monsterpiece Caldonia, and Monsterpiece Pete. These were his dogs. So when he bred Reese, he actually bred Reese to Russ. Now the first litter that he had I didn't suspect anything. I didn't know anything because he actually did have a double Merle. And the double Merle he gave to his sister. So, I mean, I don't follow people around. I don't stalk people. I don't know what you guys do in your everyday business. I don't know. So, I didn't see the dog. I didn't suspect anything. You know, end of discussion. So, 
common knowledge, Russ is a Merle. I'm going to write M for Merle just so we know. Russ is a Merle and Reese is a Merle. And both of them are actually a Harlequin Merle. So I'm going to put an H right there. So when you breed two Merles together, you make double Merles, which is very, very, very bad. So, and especially Harlequin Merles, that's how, that's like the worst thing that you can get. So his first litter, he did that. He didn't say anything. And he knew that if people knew that Russ and Reese were both Merles, he wouldn't sell the litter. So he actually registered it under Pete. Pete was a black dog, okay? So then he had, a, you know, a couple more litters, whatever, and then he did that repeat breeding again because the dog came in heat again. And they say they didn't know who got to what dog, tried to say Pete was a Merle, in which Pete was not a Merle. So then, he, when he did the second breeding, again, the horseshoers flipping these puppies for him left and right. And I, I mean, I don't know if she knew, but the customers ended up finding out, in other words. So the second litter, he actually did the repeat breeding again between Russ and Reese. And when he did that, there were two double merles in the litter. And there were several others that looked like double merles. I don't know if they were tested. They were actually double merles. One was... Uh, he directly give, gave to a rescue in Tennessee. And then the other one was broadcasted. They tried to sell it. They didn't sell it. And then it ended up going to Craigslist. And then somebody bought it from Craigslist. Then in return, took it to a shelter. So how all of this came about, how I realized it all, that like a couple of people were embarking their dogs. So the double, one of the double Merle uh, that they got from the shelter, they embark their dogs so they contacted another owner of my dogs and then they told them about me and then about everybody else and then they contacted me and asked me if i knew where they where she came from so i spoke to them and then i found out there was another double merle and then you know everything just started you know coming clear coming clear and then when i started looking at the pictures it became more and more clear because pete was a black dog. Russ was a chocolate dog. Reese, Russ was a chocolate Merle Harlequin. Reese was a chocolate Merle Har Harlequin. And Pete is black. So both those litters, which were that he had with Russ and Reese, did not produce not one black puppy. Now, when you have a black dog, black is dominant. You always will produce at least one black puppy. It doesn't happen like that. Genetically speaking, it does not happen like that. So that's how it all began so all these puppies were out here and they were registered under pete and pete was not the father so you know so much drama everybody wants to know what's in the dogs what's in the dogs i'm going to tell you guys a couple puzzle pieces with the dogs because all the dogs names all the dogs pedigrees not all of them but some of them are right here so proof is in the pudding so when people started embarking their dogs the breed started coming up so whenever they embarked what was supposed to be, you know, uh, Reese and Pete's supposedly litter, it was not coming up with Pete's dad. Pete's dad was a full-blooded dog, okay? So this is Pete's dad, SDL Casper. So when they embarked it, the offspring would have been at least 50% of this dog or 40 or 30%, the biggest percent of Pete's offspring would have been this purebred dog because all purebred dogs are in green and Apache was a purebred dog. He's in red and all the black dogs are my dogs. So all my dogs are crosses, basically. All my dogs in North America Massive, they're all crosses. Well, our breed. And then this is a purebred dog. So when all the puppies from Reese and Pete were DNA'd, not one of them came up with the breed that the, the grandfather was of the puppies, not one. So lo and behold, everybody was like, well, this, that, they're wrong, you know, I mean, et cetera. So whenever you embark your dogs and you don't pay attention, then your, your information is out there. You can either have public or private. So we had this dog in question, Coop's Cash, also, he was embarked. So when he was embarked, 
it was actually public and one of my customers screenshot it so they showed me it and so coops cash is actually well now it's ph cash but coops actually made it so i don't know if they changed the kennel name or not but uh ph cash is actually does not have this breed in his pedigree and when i say does not have the breed does not have this so you know what that means Pete is not the father. So STL Casper was a purebred barbel. All right. And he was from imported lines. So uh, basically his, his uh, father was Boslevi Phantom and his mom was Middle, Middle Pulse Summer Breeze. So when I say the horseshoe earner cheerleader, they came and made up all these fake pedigrees and they put them online. And what's funny is everything is incorrect because they had, it was Middle Pulse Alpha. And Middle Pulse Alpha is actually Summer Breeze's full brother. So that was incorrect. I don't know if they had Boz Levy Phantom. I, can't, I gotta look at it. But uh, then it goes back to Rambo, Middle Pulse Tricks, and another Boz Levy Casper Dice Spook because that's where Casper got his name. Boz Levy Casper Dice Spook. And, uh, another uh Klein sand i don't know how to say it <laughs> but you know so this was a pure bread dog right here so if you have a pure bread dog reese and pete's puppies would have had that breed in it because that pure bread dog that dna would have stuck out like a sore thumb you cannot cover up a pure bread dog dna when it comes up and i will also include uh the screenshot of ph cash so Kind of wrap it up when you guys have dogs you name your kennel name in front of the dog and the dog's name okay so coops candy coops cash coops kennel actually made those dogs monster piece all this i made those dogs i did not call casper my dog because i did not make casper i did not make apache i did not make these dogs these are the kennel names i did not make autumn all the all the Purebred dogs are in green and teal. So we'll just go in from there. Okay, so this is the horseshoe horseshoe's dogs, okay? So I already explained why Pete is not the father, okay? So the bottom is Pete. The Pete was from Patches and Patches from Dirty Girl Patchy. So we're just gonna have to take them out of the equation. So don't even look at this. This is, because he's, not the father, okay? Don't look at that. Okay, so let me sum it up. Dirty Girl and Apache, they had two litters, and I kept a lot of their offspring. I bred a lot of their, their offspring. They produced Monsterpiece Caledonia, Monsterpiece Strawberry, Stetson, Patches, Boss, and Lady, okay? All these dogs are full siblings. Full, same mom, same dad. Okay, so Caledonia was from Dirty Girl and Apache, okay? So Apache was a full-blooded dog, all right? So Apache was from CRK Dark Angel and CRK Urban Legend. I did not make that dog. All right, so Dirty Girl was from Monsterpiece Barack and Autumn on her papers, but we called her Venus. And then her mom was Bree and her dad was Quintus. And then Monsterpiece Barack, he was not a purebred dog. We made this dog. So our first cross was actually Barack, okay? So Barack came from Beast Mugambi and Autumn Bug. That was her name. And uh, he was our very first cross. He was not a purebred dog. So the uh, original registry, uh, she's mixing up pedigrees, the wrong dogs. Like his parents are wrong on there. I actually have the pedigree for, you know, for his parents and they're incorrect. And she actually has Beast's mom as Barack's mom, which is funny, but... Uh, these are the, the correct names of the dogs, but Barack was not a purebred dog. He was not a Caney Corso. They said he was a Caney Corso. He's not. Okay. So then again, you go back to, uh, so we did Caledonia and Apache. Okay. And then you go to Russ. Okay. So Coop's Candy is from Russ. So Russ is from Strawberry. Okay. Remember I said Strawberry and Caledonia, they were actually litter mate sisters. We're from Dirty Girl and Apache, okay? So we got Dirty Girl and Apache. And again, the same pedigree right here, Barack and Apache, okay? So then the dad was Lennox. 
and then Lennox's mom was Sue, and then we go back to Barack, then Barack, Autumn, and Beast, but then Sue was a was a North American Mastiff that we produced, and her parents were full-blooded dogs. Both dogs were full-blooded dogs. So that just goes to throw in there. Whenever we made Lennox, that was our outcross right here with Sue. And then, so that just ties up Candy. That's her bloodline. So Candy is, and you guys can screenshot this, do whatever, make your own little pedigree thing, whatever you want. You know, just remember this breeding. So Candy was three times Apache, three times Barack, and two times Dirty Girl. Okay, so this is, it's it's an all right thing because whenever you three times a dog, it's it's fine as long as you have outcrosses. But anytime you four times a dog or more, it's disastrous. You gotta you gotta be worried about hips, elbows, and you know especially because she's a carrier. So when you double up, triple up on this dog and she's a carrier, or let's say, you know, it'll it'll actually make dogs have DM. All right, let's go into cash. Okay, so since we know Pete is not the father, it is Russ is the dad and Reese is the mom. Okay, so you know. Things happen. I mean, puppies are made, and the people that have these puppies that came to me, they know who the parents are. They have barked their dogs. They're angry with her. They gave her bad reviews. Whatever, whatever. Everybody out there that has those dogs, you know who you are, and the people, you know, some of them want to, want to be honest. They want me to try to figure out and have the registry fix their papers, and the other people don't even care. They're going to breed the dogs anyways. So, okay, so wrap it up. Monsterpiece Russ is, again, like I said, Strawberry Lennox. So we're going to go to Reese real quick, and then we'll tie it up with that. So Reese was an offspring from Cookie and Boss. I remember I said that Boss was offering a dirty girl in Apache. So this was actually uh, an uncle to niece breeding right here. So uh, that Cookie was from Patches and Lennox, and then it ties up to Patches again for dirty girl and, and Apache, and then Dirty Girl was from Ottoman Barack. It's the same same thing as up here. It's just reiterating because it's the same exact thing. Apache from CRK, uh, Dark Angel, and Urban Legend. And Lennox again, Sue, and Barack. Okay. So Boss, again, same exact thing. And this is why you shouldn't breed these dogs together because it's the same exact thing. Monsterpiece Boss, Dirty Girl Apache. Because all these dogs right here are siblings. Okay. So Dirty Girl and Apache. And then Dirty Girl for it came from Autumn and Barack and Apache. Again, I didn't have room to really write it. It's the same dogs, same dogs. So in, 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 in essence, they're all the same dogs, okay? So uh, Apache, 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 Apache. That's where I wrote it right so you can see. So Coop's Cash is four times Barack, three times Apache, three times Dirty Girl. That's a little scary breeding right there. You know, so I don't know how all those puppies are, but that's that that's that's kind of scary. You know, that's scary. You know, some you know that's four times that that's a lot on something. And then this particular dog was high energy, uh, it, very very loyal, but high energy. Didn't like other dogs. Dog aggressive was Apache. So, you know, you kind of got to know your, your, your pros and your cons of your dogs. You got to know who's good, who's bad, what, what the downfalls are of each dog. So this is a shaky, shaky breeding right here. This litter that, that he did with, uh, Reese, not only double Merles, don't get me wrong, double Merles. They will look beautiful. Don't get me wrong. The dogs are beautiful. They look good, but their structure could be shaky because when you do when you anytime more than three times any dog you're going to end up getting bad hips bad elbows any down side of any of these dogs any bad things of any of these dogs you're highlighting those things so like let's say you know for instance you know when you double up on a dog you have to make it make sure it's perfect so if you four times caldonia so that's four times dm carrier Let's say Apache was dog aggressive. So if you have three times Apache, you're three times in that. Or, you know, let's say uh, you have a dog with skin issues. You have a dog with allergies. When you put more, you know, more than four, three times in, in a dog, 
you're doubling up, tripling up, quadrupling it up, all those issues on that dog. I'm sorry, I keep reiterating this. Okay, so then she bred cash and candy, okay? So even, and I did, I did speak to her. We were on speaking terms. She did buy two dogs from me. And when I thought Pete was really the father, I still told her, I said, man, that, that's a shaky breeding right there. I said, you have Casper. That's a totally different line. That should be good. But I said, but still you're dealing with, you know, Patches. Patches was uh, Pete's mother. So, you know, that's again, dirty girl on Apache, the same line. It's the same thing all up and down on all these dogs. I said, that's, that's too much of those dogs. You have way too much. I said, you can do it. Don't get me wrong. You can do anything you want. You could breed mother to son, father to daughter. You could breed siblings. You could do anything you want. But what happens is your offspring suffer and your customers suffer if there's issues. So I did tell her I wouldn't do this. You know, I said I would not breed, you know, I wouldn't do that. So I said I would not breed cash to candy. I said I wouldn't do it. But that's when I thought Pete was the father. But when I found out Russ was really the father, it's it's a disaster. Okay, so if you screenshot this and counted all the dogs, her offspring of cash and candy would be seven times Barack, six times Apache, and five times Dirty Girl. And if anybody knows what that means, when you breed too much on a dog, total, total catastrophe. And... You know, a lot of the, the micro bullies out there that people have, that's what happens when their eyes get too close together, that they're constantly inbreeding, breeding too close together. So Candy and Cash are half siblings. They're both their father is Russ. Same dad, different moms. But the moms are technically so close related that, I mean, I wouldn't have did it, but... I mean, each breeder has their own things. And I mean, that's why you leave breeding to the professionals. I mean, when people call me and ask me, oh, is this dog good with this dog? I mean, I would not steer you wrong because if she would have asked me this, I would have said, heck no. I told her, heck no with this. You know, when I thought Coop's Cash's dad was really Pete, I said no to that. But I even tried to help her. I actually was going to front her Mutombo for half price because Mutombo was a total outcross also. So if she would have had Mutombo, could have bred the candy, could have kept offspring, would have kept it clean. But she, you know, she didn't do that. And somebody in the United Kingdom is loving that dog right now. Loving that dog. He's a big part of his breeding program. And, you know, he's going to succeed with that dog. I tried to steer him the correct way. I tried to tell him you know, what's the best thing to do. And, you know, that's why you should leave things to the professionals. I mean, in, in, in the horse racing world, you can't breed, you know, father to daughter, mother to son, because you want a horse hyped up to race. You want a horse high strung to get going and win that race. But with dogs, it's a total different subject. You can't do that with dogs. When you breed siblings, they're half retarded like they they're just they just don't get it they're not as smart as they need to be when you breed you know father daughter yeah you know, mother to son it makes them high strung makes them high energy so not only are you doubling up on all these dogs you're you know you're you're te and you're actually like making them high strung and stupid and that's not what our breed is for. Like everybody that has our dogs are like, your dogs are intelligent, they're smart, they're loving. And the idea is to have a laid back family dog, not a dog that's gonna go out there and chew somebody up. Um, sorry, I took a long time. This is a long video, but uh, we're gonna get into uh, verified and non-verified with our next video. And you know, what, you know, what a verified dog is a non-verified dog. And I just wish, you know, the horseshoer and her cheerleader would spend so much more time in promoting their own new breed than bringing a breed that's already established down. I mean, I don't mind, you know, e explaining to people, educating people, but, you know, now I have to come to the public, I have to explain things in detail. And the only reason why I didn't want to tell people the breeds of the dogs, I mean, 
it's obvious. So when she says 40% 40, 40 of the breed is made of Alapaha, you know why? Because all her dogs consist of Alapaha. So when you have all these dogs coming from this dog, of course it's going to be a big percentage of the dog because they didn't get this dog. You know, so that's why their DNAs are coming up like that because she's breeding so close on this full bred dog, all this DNA from him is coming up. And then on another thing on the DNA, we didn't use any pit bulls in our dogs whatsoever. So why sometimes a pit bull is coming up in the, the things as a, you know, a relative or whatever. I actually had a puppy out of uh, Patches, uh, Dirty Girl to Patches litter with Patches in it. It was Patches and Sugar in it. Oh, I forgot Sugar. Sugar is from them too. But um, so anyways, he bought a puppy from me, which is actually the, we really wasn't the runt, but it wasn't the biggest dog in the litter. And he was a black Merle Harlequin male. And he put XL bully papers on him. And when he put XL bully papers on him, those papers do go back to Patches and Lennox. And it just says Patches and Lennox on him, but it doesn't go any further. But he never said, you know, my dog's half North American Mastiff. I even confronted him about it. I said, I knew where you got your dog because back then I didn't have contracts to say I'd get the dog back. It was sold on Hoobly and you know, he sold a dog to somebody. That person contacted me because my kennel name was on his papers and I, I didn't really realize he had the dog yet. And I actually contacted him and he just said, okay, he didn't care. He had a dog for me. He didn't care. He registered as a bully. He didn't care. You know, they, they, it was a, basically it was a non-verified dog. So they just said, okay, this is an XL bully because he looks like an XL bully with the bully registry. And then in the pedigree says, Patches Lennox. And I'm like, and then that guy and his, the offspring from that guy is actually studying those dogs out. And even in the pedigree has his dog in it, which leads back to my dog. So that's why some of the relatives are coming up as pit bulls, but we did not use no pit bulls whatsoever. And like I said, this is a color proof chart. All my dogs are black. All the outcrosses are different colors. And there are like six or more different lines in these dogs. There is no reason to keep breeding on the same lines over and over. All you gotta do is go and find somebody that's a different line. And that's not hard. If you have any questions, just ask me. All right, sorry this is a long video. I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching, appreciate it. Have a good day.